I recently took my Casio Turbo Optima out for a spin in the woods. You can see there's a lot of dirt flying and I've fitted an under tray in the hope that it will keep out most of the dirt and more importantly, keep the gold anodized parts from getting scratched. <laughs> I thought getting an under tray would resolve all my concerns about scratching up the gold parts on this buggy, but at this point I feel it important to give you a caveat that my expectations versus reality do not always align. So let me share my experience of fitting this and using it on the maiden run. After cutting it out and making four holes with a body reamer to attach it to the chassis, I painted it white leaving the middle clear so that I could still see the gold. My ESC is installed and positioned as per the manual, but it got in the way of the under tray when I first tried to fit it. I had to trim around the ESC and I removed only the bare minimum, as the point is to keep the dirt out. You will see that it's tight to get to the on and off switch, but it is doable. When it came to screwing this into place, I did have a couple of setbacks. The head of the countersunk screws can have a sharp edge around the top and mine cut straight through the Lexan. Unlike the front mounting position, the rear doesn't have a countersunk washer and instead the chassis is counter sunk to house the screw. This is why the screw just cut straight through the Lexan. I really should have foreseen this issue, but the images on eBay, together with the one video that I saw, screwed it into place without using any additional hardware, so I just did not stop to think. I repaired it using an offcut of Lexan and super glued it into place before making some new holes. I bought some countersunk washers and some slightly longer screws to compensate for them not recessing into the chassis, and this is what it looks like now. All good, I thought, but when I was attaching the under tray to the front, I heard a crack. Bear in mind, these screws are installed with a countersunk washer as per the manual, so I didn't expect an issue like I did for the rear. Another repair before I can get out and use this buggy. So again, an offcut of Lexan and some super glue. These holdups took time and they held me back. With the repairs done, I'm ready to go. I took it out for its maiden run in the woods. Video link at the end if you want to see that. What a great buggy. I had a blast driving it. At the end of the run, I drove it back to my car and I hit a tree root head on. It was just the right height to catch the front of the the under tray. I heard a crack. Sounds like another repair is needed. Totally my fault. We can check on that damage in a moment after I remove the under tray. So back to seeing how effective this has been. It's pretty clean inside the buggy around the driver with just a dusting of dirt. In the bottom of the tray there is a lot of debris and I wonder if any of that which is collected has scratched up the gold parts. Let's remove the under tray for a proper inspection. Here you can see where some of the gold has rubbed off a little bit. So I'd say this will save you from gouging the aluminium but over time the gold plating is likely to show some wear. Perhaps it would be a good idea to put some tape over the gold before installing the under tray. In fact, I did plan to put some tape on the motor guard, but with all those delays and limited time, I just ended up forgetting, as I was so desperate to get it out and drive it. Here you can see the crack that happened when I drove it into that tree root. I'll fix it the same way that I did the other repairs. I should also point out that the recess where you put the velcro is too deep, so to address that I'm going to use some number plate tape underneath the velcro. That's going to lift it to the right height so it's going to work much better. I think the under tray really did help protect this buggy, but I can't expect it to stop any damage to the gold parts, but I definitely see an advantage to using it. It's always a tough one scratching up your pride and joy, but if you drive it you're just going to have to get over it. It was pretty extreme in the woods, with mud, sticks, small stones flying everywhere. If you drive it on a less aggressive surface, then that's going to be probably the best way to prolong the looks. Knowing what I know now, I think if you're going to run this buggy, don't bother installing the driver, and instead put the ES ESC and receiver together on the top plate. This means you wouldn't need to trim the under tray around the ESC and perhaps it would block out a little bit more dirt. You can't really see the driver anyway and somehow the crash helmet shows some wear. I'm not really sure how that happened. You'll have to let me know what you think and if you run yours what steps if any did you take to preserve the gold anodized chassis. Maybe you've got a stash of spare parts so one day when you decide to retire this buggy you can just replace those parts.